Good morning, people of Northern Arizona, Cottonwood, Sedona area, Joe Clyde here, AscensionPathway.com, Evan Fain YouTube channel. Here you see the weather report for all day today. You can see, get a good look, all sunny. It's been like this for the last three, four days. We saw the jets out spraying with nothing coming out of their nozzle attachments. We saw red bad boys silver bullets, red tails, and so forth. So one has to speculate uh, about the new plume. We already know about the new mix and how they want to make it invisible to the public. This way here they can make you feel that they're all done with the spraying while still spraying. Uh, we documented a haze each night uh, and we, that'll probably continue because there's so much crap in the skies anyway. But if anybody has any information on uh, in, uh, evidence of that new mix, I would gladly uh, entertain everybody who has that information so we can get it out to the public. I'll keep you informed as the day goes on. All right, we're here for the first documentation of the day. There's Mingus Mountain facing west. You can see blue sky everywhere. Uh, I saw a couple jets this morning, didn't get them on video cam. Uh, they weren't spraying actively, but you know, one has to suspect about that new mix. If we pan into that uh, southern sky, you can see how thick that haze is back there. Look at that. Look at that haze. As it settles down, that sun beating down, just you can see how thick that is from previous spraying. Or it's that new invisible plume. If we go into that eastern sky, you can see the haze. Look at that haze. But for the most part, the sky is blue. And no active chemtrailing, so to speak, yet. Let me show you that haze again in that southern sky. Look at that haze. Look at that. Isn't that something? really hazy in that mountain range wow let's see what we got here it's about quarter to one it's either a silver bullet or a red tail again no plume not that we can see lost them there he is Get a good look at them. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I'm gonna back them off. No plume. All right, we got something in the sky there. It looks like a red tail with no plume. He's real quiet too. It's almost as if he's sneaking across the sky. Possibly spraying that invisible plume. Yup, he's a red tail. And usually where there's one, there's usually another. And look how low he is. That son of a bitch. There's your documentation of the red tail. Still out there. We know those are chemtrail jets. And here we go, we got another guy. Let's see if we can make him out. No plume, coming the other way. It's like we documented where there's one red tail, there's usually another one following him. Can't make him out if he's a red tail though. And we got another guy. Again, no plume. Let's see if we can make him out. It's my camera focuses. Camera's taking a little bit of time to focus, but there you see him. Again, no plume. One has to wonder. It's the same jets. Here we are, a little close to two o'clock. Looks like we got another red tail. Or a silver bullet. The way he's flying, it looks like a red tail, but I can't document through my viewfinder. Well, I'm just documenting that we're getting it. And those are the jets that spray it out of the nozzle. 
She heads to the trees. All right, we got somebody here around 2 o'clock, a little after 2, spraying some plume. He's pretty far out in the horizon. I can't, or in the sky, I can't make him out. But you can clearly see he's got some plume. He's going like a bat out of hell, too. Kind of blurry there. There he is. Look how the reflection, how that works on my camera. It looks like a UFO. Anyway, there you saw it. Just minutes later, we got another one. And I just missed one going the other way. This guy's going from west to east. And the other guy was uh, south to north. But there you go, silver bullet, possibly a red tail. More documentation. Yeah, it's about quarter to five. Let me zoom this guy in, see what he's got going on. Can't tell if he's a red tail. But anyway, again, no plume. Makes one wonder what's really going on. Well, look what we got here. One of those guys with a funny na uh, nozzle attachment. Get a good look at that. There's only one reason that guy's in the air. It was, there was a guy who just went the other way too, but I couldn't get him. I wanted to focus in on this guy. Because he's got that weird nozzle attachment. If he's not spraying, then what's he doing up in the sky? Right? Looks like the Indigo Skyfold Phase 2 program in the works. We need a little more documentation. Well, there you see that guy. And it's about 6 in the evening. And we got our first plumer of the day. Coming out of the nozzle, as you can see. It's got the nozzle attachment. So it looks like they're getting ready to do some spraying. Can't tell the configuration, but you can see the plume. Let me zoom back in on that. You can see the plume, fairly long. It's no contrail. I'm gonna fade him out. Joe Clyde, AscensionPathway.com and the Evan Fain YouTube channel where all the videos can be watched. And here's what's left of today. This is Mingus Mountain, Western Sky. This, I don't know if you can see any of this, but there's still some haze. The sky isn't quite blue. It's got that grayish blue color. So one has to speculate after everything we documented today. Uh, we saw a red bad boy, a couple of them, but I couldn't. They're so sneaky. And their sound carries, so you think they're in one part of the sky and they're not. And then when you do find them, um, they're so far gone, they're, you, it's so hard to see them without that plume. But we know one thing for sure, uh, why would they be even out in the sky if they're not spraying? We know these jets, the red, red bad boys, the red tails, the blue tails, the silver bullets, they all spray the toxic plume and they were out today. And we got a lot documented, but there you see what's left. We still got some blue sky, but anyway, that's it for the documentation today. We're still looking for evidence of that new mix. I would, would ask anybody that has been suffering headaches from clear sky, or if they've noticed they've had clear sky lately, uh, if they have any uh, ailments from that clear sky, like headaches, you can also check the windshield of your car. It should, and instead of the black soot from the white, uh, the so-called white uh, chemtrail cloudoids that turned to black like we documented, we used to get black soot on the windshield. Today we checked it out and it's green, what they call a swamp mix. But anyway, uh, Joe Clyde is signing off for Monday, February 9th, 2015.